to be able to book and pay for your accommodation at Maastricht University or use printers and copy machines during your studies here, you need to activate your SUPO account. This way, you will be able to electronically organize your finances at Maastricht University. Simply, SUPO works as your digital wallet. This time, I will show you how to work with your SUPO account. You will need your ID number and your primary password. To get to your SUPO account, you need to log in. Type inet.muni.cz into your browser bar and log in with your student ID and your primary password. In the left bar menu, under the heading Economics, click on SUPO and then SUPO Client Account. Click on the link Clients Consent with the conditions of running the SUPO system and read the text. Choose the option I agree and click on Confirm at the end of the page. Your SUPO account is now activated and you can see your variable symbol. Write it down, it is your personal specific number and you will need it during your stay in Brno. For example, it is necessary to mention the symbol when making money transfers from your account to Master University account. After the activation, the SUPO system sends you automatically a message, in English and in Czech, about a deposit of 50 Czech crowns to be paid. Please ignore this message. You will simply do the activation by the first payment of the accommodation booking deposit. Will you stay in a private accommodation? Please complete the activation by paying the 50 Czech crown deposit after your arrival. The easiest way, without any fees, is to use SuperPoint, where you can deposit cash. All the other students will complete the activation of the SUPO by the first payment, the accommodation booking deposit. You can find the SUPO points list in the section About SUPO under SUPO points. Some of them are operating non-stop. To put money on your SUPO account, place your student card to designated area and insert money. Watch out, the machine eats only banknotes. If you want to check your SUPO account balance, go to SCA statement. There you can see not only your balance, but also a list of all transactions you have made. There are two ways how to withdraw money from your SUPO account. If you still have your check bank account, you can ask for a refund online. Go to the SUPO client account section and click on balance refund. We recommend to do this a week before your departure so that the money appears in your bank account before your departure and you have time to withdraw it. If you do not have a check bank account, you can get the money back in cash from the accommodation assistant. If the amount of paying you back exceeds 1000 check crowns, please inform the assistant before seeing her. It may happen they will not have enough cash to pay you back. Before you request the refund, check one more thing. If you have money on your canteen account, so-called web credit, you need to transfer them into your SUPO account. First, make sure that you have allowed the connection between web credit and SUPO. Go into SUPO client account and then SUPO client account adjustment. Scroll down until you see permission to use SUPO account for credit. Click yes, I agree. Now, log into the web credit system at creditskmuni.cz slash webcredit. Switch the page into English and log in as MU Diner using your ID number and secondary password. Click on SUPO tab at the top of the page and choose the desired transfer by entering the requested amount and clicking Prevest. 